What is up, guys? And welcome back to the channel. And today we're back on Great Chismo 2, but not in the way you might expect. Now, you're probably noticing right now, this save file is completely empty. With 99.9 .9 million credits, we're almost a hundred millionaire here. The reason for that, we're on a clean slate, a clean save with uh, 100 million credits, is today we're playing Gran Turismo 2 Project A Spec. Now, for those who aren't familiar with Project A Spec, it is a mod project that is similar to Gran Turismo 2 Plus, but adds new events, new cars that were not only not in the develop, they're not that were cut during development, but we're also just never in Gran Turismo to begin with. Cars are built completely from scratch for this mod. Now, you're probably wondering, why is, what, where can we get this? This is a pre-development, a uh, pre-release build, a development build of this game. The development team reached out to me um, on the most recent episode of the Let's Play, episode 23, uh, which was the special events episode, which oddly enough, I, the game volume was too loud. I don't know why. Um, and they reached out and were like, hey, we want you to try this out and we'll send you a pre-release a pre build of the game for you to play. And so here we are. And uh, I've got I'm pulling up the list of things they wanted me to take a look at. This is kind of a first impressions. It was a first impressions, but we actually had some pretty nasty thunderstorms and the we lost power. Um and uh, so yeah, I actually lost all that all that footage, and so not really my first impression anymore. But we're still gonna showcase the mod and have a great time. So that's why I have 99 million credits, is so I can show you guys everything. So we're gonna start off with the dealerships they recommended checking out to showcase. They showcased they said check out Roof, Mercedes, BMW, Plymouth, Opel, Vauxhall, and Ford. So we're gonna start off with Roof because. You guys saw in the let's play um my time with roof was not the best uh we built one to try to take on the hks drag car and i was pretty underwhelmed with the final numbers i expected it to be in a thousand plus horsepower car but i guess part of that is i'm looking at it from the perspective of uh you know a porsche a modern 911 turbo and uh versus you know a nine what's effectively a 993 and uh, I've gone to the wrong place. I hit so many wrong buttons, and here we are back off screen. Um, so we're checking out roof first again, since I messed that up. So of course, you guys saw I used the CTR2 Sport during that project um, for that build of in the series. And uh, we're gonna check out the special, which I don't think was here before. Uh, we have the CR4, which is pretty nice looking, 280 horsepower, so kind of slow for a roof. Um, but I'd imagine this one isn't turbocharged, or it might be for all I know. Um, and then we have the CTR2 Sport Pikes Peak. So this is a new thing that I don't think was in the base game. Uh, it looks sick. It, it looks like uh, it's got some BBS LMs on it. My favorite wheel. If I if I had endless money, it'd be like how Adam LZ is with Blitz 03s, but I'd be like that with uh, BBS LMs. Um, all right, so we're next going to roll over to Mercedes. And uh, we're going to check the, uh, we'll look at the regular lineup first. I don't think anything's out of the ordinary here. Everything looks the same. Uh, but we're going to go to special. And that's where things get a little fun. We have the C-Class DTM, which is, uh, I believe, built from scratch. I think this is a completely built from scratch car for this uh, mod. Which looks incredible. They really, their modeling team is fantastic. They built some great models. So next up, we're going to roll over to BMW, which uh, is a brand I really like. Um, I think their their standard lineup is just the, the normal C. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's a 325 that wasn't in the base game, and it wasn't plus. Because uh, I think I had one briefly. I might be wrong. Um, I hit the wrong button again. But in the special is where things get kind of nuts. So first off, the 840 Ci LM Edition. This is another car that uh, was built from scratch for this game. And it looks incredible. They, again, did a really good job on the modeling of this car. Then from there, we have the V12 LMR, which is one of my favorite cars ever to hit reach the racetrack. I have a very large amount of love for the V12 LMR. And that helmet looks kind of Ayrton Senna-ish, but I don't know for sure if that's modeled after Ayrton Senna. Um, and then we're going to skedaddle over to Plymouth. 
Uh, but before we do that, we're gonna check out Opal and Voxel. So uh, I believe there is obviously the normal cast and characters there, but we have the Tigra Ice Race Car as well as the Calibra DTM, which I think this is new. Um, I could be wrong there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Opal one because I'm, I think the Voxel side is the same, um, and I'm not going to bother picking up the, uh, the Voxel version of it. Now think about it, I think it is, because I think I distinctly remember saying, I'm surprised that Calibra's not in here. Because I, I swear I distinctly remember saying that at some point, because I remember I built uh, an Astra, I think. Um, so now they say to go to Plymouth and Ford, so we're going to go over to South City. Well, let's try Plymouth first. I don't know what to expect in Plymouth. I, this is actually the one I forgot to check. So we got the PT Spider, which I uh, think I have one in the playthrough. But, oh yeah, that's right. The Prowler's here. So yeah, this is something that you probably didn't expect to see here. But the Prowler is now in GT2 because of the A-Spec design team. And uh, it's, it's so sick to see. I mean, I'm not even a Plymouth Prowler fan, but to see that's cool. Question is, since we're here, is there a racing modification for the Prowler? No, darn. I was hoping, I was hoping that'd be a little bit of a surprise for me. Um, so then they said to go check out Ford, which is a brand I don't have a good track or track record with in real life. So we got the Focus Rally Car, which I didn't know was even in blue. I, I was always so used to the white livery. We've got the GT40, which I'm trying to remember if this was like this before. I think it did. I think you couldn't buy it before. We have the Saline SR wide body, so a Mustang. I got a really cool Mustang at that, which I don't believe this was in the original GT2. I think this was built entirely from scratch by the development team for A-Spec, and once again, they killed it. Um, we've got the Taurus stock car, which is really cool, or Taurus, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, which I believe this was like rumored in pre-development stuff of GT2, and then it was cut. But we're going to mess with it now that we have it. Uh, we have the Ford GT90, which I can't exactly remember. I'm pretty sure it was in the base game. I could be wrong there. And then last but not least, we have the Indigo. This is the 1995, I think it was, Ford Indigo concept car, which I actually didn't know what it was until the development team told me this. I'd never even heard of this car. Um, but obviously, I can't buy it. But there's one last thing to check out, and they have, actually have a list of cars that are um, like codes they sent me for the, the Game Shark to get all a bunch of new cars for the game. Um, I'll read you off the list here while we're doing this. So we have the R33 concept car, the Mirage GT300, the uh, Rosso 037 GT500, the BP BMW GT300, we have the 767B, so not even the 787, which is already in the game. Uh, now you'll notice this Aristo is a million credits, and that's because it's not an Aristo, it's a CLK DTM. Uh, this is it right here, and all of its glory. And uh, yeah, we're gonna buy this, and uh, this game chart code that they gave me, I can modify to be any of these cars. There's a Spider GT, there's the F1 GTR, there is the Eclipse GSX. There's the V12 LMR that I mentioned earlier, and one that I that has never has never been in Gran Turismo, the Toyota Tacoma Pikes Peak, which I think we may mess with later in this video, uh, just so you guys can see it in action. Um, but because this car, the CLK in particular, which was never in the game, uh, it was just the CLK race car. Um, we're gonna mess with it. So some of the cars in this game actually have a racing modification that they've added. A lot of their racing, the race cars they've made in this game have a, a racing modification on it. So we're going to do so. Um, actually, if I remember correctly, the CLK didn't have one. But we're going to see if we can, what we can tinker with it. Because this car they put special focus on. They really wanted me to look at the CLK. Um, there's no turbo kits. Darn, I was really hoping for a surprise there. Um... So it's already on slicks. So okay. I think I think all the race cars are like that though. Another one I want to check out is the CTR three uh, or C yeah CTR three CTR two whichever one it was. Um, but we're gonna go beat up on the AI a little bit because oh, why not? <laughs> so 
Hopefully this time I, I won't lose power in the middle of filming. Um, because that sucked last time. That was a, a pretty bad, pretty bad time. Of course, since this is a new save, I gotta make sure it remembers that I like playing in manual mode. Because uh, I, I don't do the automatic stuff in this game. Really rev happy engine, but I imagine it's a, you know, it's a DTM car, so. I feel so bad for these guys because they're about to get slaughtered. Spinning hard off the line. But this thing grips really well. I'm very impressed so far just in the handling physics of this car. Um, handles way better than the S4 did during that playthrough. A lot of people actually asked about why I ran the S4 for so long. Most notably in the, the video against the x cast drag car, which I think is like the most popular video on this channel now. And it, the only reason I did is because I was trying to see how good the S4 could be. Uh, and if I could effectively beat most of the game with it, which I would say was a success. I think I was able to beat most of the game with that B5 S4. Uh, that was styled after the touring car. Uh, but this thing is like on rails. I better be careful. Apparently, uh, apparently I'm not a car guy, according to some comment that I got, which uh, doesn't make any sense. I mean, anyone who knows me or has been around this channel for a long enough time knows that. Uh, I'm literally building a Mark 7 on my other on my main channel, uh, which you guys should go check out if you like real life car stuff. It's picked up a. Uh, big turbo for my Mark 7 that we're going to be installing pretty soon. And on to the second lap. This thing is on rails. I'm really liking the physics on this car. It drives so good. They did a great job with this. It is on rails. Oh, still didn't hit the wall. Another lap, I could probably lap most of these guys. This thing is so good. It grips really good too. Like, man, I'm impressed. This thing is great. Come on, there we go. Uh, I figured that downshift was probably unnecessary. I really wish they'd bring this track back. Like, I know it is basic compared to like the majority of tracks in Gran Turismo now, but I just, it's iconic to me. You know, I didn't even play this game growing up. I grew up, you know, I was born just two years. I was born the year this game came out, actually. So, you know, I, I missed Gran Turismo 2 because by the time, you know, I was old enough to comprehend video games, uh, Gran Turismo 4 was getting ready to come out. Um, but I still played Gran Turismo 3 the most. So pretty fun little run there. Uh, I will say you're probably noticing the sounds missing. Um, this, like I said, is a development build of A-Spec that I'm playing right now. So, not everything's going to be perfect just yet. And that's fine. Uh, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a development build of the game. It's not meant to be perfect. Um, and uh, from my understanding, they're not too far away from having the production version of the game done. It's just, they're, they're ironing out a few things here. We're going to swap cars here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, actually, is pause this recording and go swap the Game Shark code out for the Tacoma. And we're gonna go. We're gonna pick up the Tacoma because they really, they really love that thing over on the uh, Discord server, which I'm gonna have linked in the description. I'm gonna have their Discord and their Instagram linked in the description for you guys to go check out and keep up with this project because it's freaking amazing what these guys are up to. And it's, you know, it, it was my dream as a kid to have stuff like this. And so seeing someone else do it is awesome. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pause this recording. It's gonna be like a millisecond, but I'm gonna go and. Swap the game shark code over to the uh, Tacoma. Okay, well the clip got cut for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway, code has been done. Uh, sucks I have to actually splice this and editing now. Uh, but the coding was swapped out. I'm guessing I must have a hotkey set for something, and I clicked it by accident when I was uh, putting the code in. But anyway, now this Aristo should be the Tacoma Pikes Peak. Look at that. That is nuts. 1,015 horsepower. Uh, this thing's going to be insane to drive. Uh, but let's see what just, let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens. Can we modify it? Now, luckily, since this is a Toyota, we just happen to be in the Toyota dealership. I highly doubt we'll be able to do much with this, but let's just take a peek. There is a racing modification, but it's not applicable. So I'd imagine we can't do nothing with it. So we'll just go and enjoy the truck as is. It's weird seeing a Tacoma in 
you know, th this truck in GT2. A lot of people really like this truck. And apparently, I think, if I remember correctly, this it was actually rumored to be, like, cut early on in development. So, the A-Spec team went above and beyond to bring this truck back. Which is really insane to look at, you know. Let's see what she can do on track. Come on, there we go. 9,000 RPM, okay. It's one of like the first Hot Wheels I ever got as a kid was the this truck. Oh boy, we're gone. <laughs> it is very fast. Oh man, it is really fast. No sixth gear though. But I guess this was the 90s. Oh, corner. This is really fast. I'm actually going to have to adjust a little bit to it. When I was driving the V12 LMR out here, in the first original attempt of filming this video, I was uh, really impressed with that. We may get it again due to the last race here, or I might use one of the cars I already have. Uh, I'm trying to show off most of the cars that they built themselves, like this. This was uh, entirely modeled by them. Excuse the cutting the grass there. I'm not going to be perfect in, a, in this thing. This thing is... Very, uh, very fun to drive, but it's, uh, it takes some adjustment. I think part of it is just because it's so freaking fast. I might actually have to brake for this. Nope. I'm just pin it. There we go. A little bit of a four-wheel slide there, four-wheel drive drift. Yeah, if I had a third lap, it'd be game over. I'd be passing those guys. Come on. There we go. Hit the wall, but it's fine. This thing, I feel like, on the Pikes Peak circuit would be an absolute monster. Ooh, four-wheel drive drift. Come on, grip up. There we go. And across the line. That was bonkers right there. That was tricky. That was a little tricky to drive. But uh that was that was it was rewarding because of how fast it shot out of the hole. Like that was a, that was fun. Not bad at all. Their modeling team did such a good job with that thing, because like you know, it's like uh it's uh it's it's completely from scratch. Like that entire car is built from scratch, which is just really cool. So let's see what else. We got one more event of the uh, Sunday Cup, and then we'll probably get ready to start wrapping things. So we'll do all the free events that don't have horsepower limitations or uh, license li uh, limitations, because I didn't turn that cheat code on like I should have. So let's see. What do we want to drive? We've got the 840 Ci, the Calibra, the Prowler, the Saline, the Taurus Stock Car, or Saline. I don't know how it's pronounced anymore. Hmm. Or the C-Class. Hmm. So I'm saving the CTR2 for something else. Let's see. I'm thinking... Hmm. Why don't we do the stock car? Why not? Let's see what she can do. Because this is another car I've never gotten to drive in GT. Because it was never actually in the final game. Alright, Red Rock Valley, this should be fun. This thing is probably just going to kill the grid, but it's just like the other cars have. But screw it, we're going to have some fun. We're not here to we're not here to have a challenge, we're to showcase stuff and show how cool this mod is. We got a Mustang in front of us. Oh, don't you merge into me, bro? Okay, all right. This is... Oh, it's very fast. Four-speed transmission. Back when NASCAR used to do that. A good, it's a good car I picked for this because of the fact that Red Rock Valley is uh, banked. Got a lot of banked corners like a NASCAR track. It handles surprisingly well. A lot better than what I expected a stock car to handle like in this game. I 
I think I have a Hot Wheel one of these. Not this livery, but a Taurus stock car. My mom actually had a Taurus in this generation. What I like to call the Bubble Eye. Uh, got a little bit of dirt there. I, I always struggle on that corner. There we go. Pretty good times. It hangs up in the banks really well, but I would hope so, considering what it is. Okay, there we go. This thing is actually pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun driving this thing. I don't think I've ever been so far ahead to hear the cars come over that bridge. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this thing drives really good once you get it used to it. Pretty impressed with that. This thing drove really well. All right. That was pretty fun. Yeah, we gapped them all pretty good there. It was Audi S3. That's an S3. How about that? Before we ever got it here. I think we didn't get the S3 until uh, eight, the 8V eight Gen. The MQB stuff at my car. All right, I think we're gonna do. We're gonna finish out the early game races. This is gonna be a longer video, guys, and I apologize, but I I really love this mod, and I cannot say enough how amazing of a job these guys did. Um, so we've cleared out the Sunday Cup already. Uh, I haven't been able to find where they stored all their new events if they've been activated in this pre in this development build of the game. Um, let's see what do we want to drive next. What do we want to drive next? Let's go with the CTR2. Let's go ahead and see if we can mess with this car at all, because which I hope, because I would love to get this thing to be really fast. Um, it already makes more power than a standard CTR2, but I would love to see finally in a thousand horsepower roof. I don't know what all they've allowed to be done to this car. Um, went too far over. Let's just see what we can do here. Is there an RM on this one? There is. It just doesn't. It's just NA. So maybe not. So I don't think there's weight reduction available for the car. There is not. So I guess this is, this is, this is uh, as aggressive as it gets. So we got for turbos. What we got? Uh, we don't have one. Well, that's no fun. Uh, does that have slicks already? It's just NA for everything. Like, there's nothing that I can do to this car. It's the exhaust NA. Maybe this is just a, so far such an early build of this car that maybe there isn't anything to do yet. Like, they haven't coded the upgrades in. Um, but right now, there is nothing to do to this car. But we're already in it. Let's go ahead and take her for a spin. Like I said, this is just a pre-production. This is a pre-production build of the game, so. All right. Last two races, we'll probably try. I want to do a car, another car that they put in the game themselves to showcase next. Uh, I just was curious to see what the CTR2 would be like. So far, it just feels like another CTR2, but I could be proven wrong here. It might have some sort of absurd handling physics. I love the old turbo noises of old GT. So last time I talked to the development team, I asked them like about just kind of some like questions I had about cars they would add, and I asked them if they would do uh, old F1 cars. That corner is going to be the death of me forever on this track, and uh, I was given the eyes emoji. 
So I'm hoping that it's like some confirmation that we might see some stuff like the Williams FW14B or, or like a, I think what I think uh, the MP4 uh, 12 F1 car was around during this time. So uh, that'd be cool to see. I think that's like 97 or 96 is when that car was around. And Omega Hakkinen was driving it, which is really cool. Uh, same guy who won the world title the year I was born, which is part of why I like Mika Hakkinen so much. Other than he's just, you know, a really good driver. This thing handles pretty good. In this corner, I think, I, like, the brakes are kind of a little bit, leave a little bit to be desired compared to, like, the, uh, the Tacoma and the, uh, the, uh, the Taurus stock car. Like, those are both stopped on a dime. This one, I had to really jam the brakes pretty good. I do think this is different from the normal CTR2. This thing, uh, apologies for the brake there. Uh, this thing is just pretty good, but the brakes are a little bit, um, leave a little bit of this to be desired, but. This thing rockets out of the hole, though. And there we are, across the line. That's another dub for me and another roof. <laughs> Let's see, uh, we'll do our last race here. We'll do in a uh, car they added to the game. And, uh, see what we got. I think it may be the Prowler. I think we might drive the Prowler. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Why don't I just fast travel to the garage? I forget their shortcuts are there. All right. I'm thinking the Prowler. We'll do the 840. This is a lot of their, uh, their, their like, shots of the game. Um, probably would be... I'd imagine if they did, like, a release cover of the game, the 840 CI would be on it. And if I just read that right, and that said 1,000 horsepower. Oh, yikes. This is about to be scary. <laughs> so we're going to Grindelwald. Track is uh was uh, quite interesting to do when I played through uh, plus. See how this car does. Of course, I was in a pulsar when the last time I went on this track uh, early game. I don't, I don't really remember seeing this track a whole lot. Is that a unique sound? That's oh, all-wheel drive. Oh, thank you for just merging in on me. Not like I was just going to cruise past you guys. Maybe I should aim to the outside. The handling, man. Oh my goodness, it handles so good. Oh, it came in too hot there. The modeling team, again, killed it with this car. The model is great. There we go. The handling is superb. It is so fast. Oh, I thought I was going to hit that wall. I so thought I was hitting that. This is a nice track. Why is it not back? Like, why do they never bring this track back? I think it's got a really nice backdrop. It's got a really nice the layout. It's really good. Like I would love to see this track come back. Now I didn't even grow up with it. Like I think this was like the only game this track was in, in the series. Um, I haven't actually. I've really not played much of GT1, so I'm not entirely sure. Ah, dang it! That corner got me again. Dang it! I'm struggling now. This thing is so fast. Come on, this thing fires out of here too. Man, 
There we go. And across the line. And what a way to close out this video. Because that was fun. But uh, pretty good drive in the uh, 840 Ci. That was uh, that was a fun way to close this video out. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content coming soon on this channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a live Let's Play coming up soon once I can get a hold of a capture card of Forza Motorsport 4. And when DK Oldie sends me a working controller. Um, we're going to do a live Let's Play of uh, Grand Trism, or not Grand Trism, Forza Motorsport 4 uh, as well as Forza 2. And we're also going to continue on with our previous Let's Play. And uh, I think we're going to add this to the radar. We'll do another run of Gran Turismo 2. Uh, with Project A-Spec once it's gotten its production release. So you guys can play along, you know what I mean? And we'll probably do like a challenge run to make the game more interesting. Instead of me just, uh, you know, choosing whatever I want to win. Just picking one car and trying to beat the entire game with it. So, all that said, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys.